Okay, we're going to have a picnic around here today, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to get ready some nice ribs that are going to cook all day long. Kind of no-fuss recipe. I bought two and a half pounds of pork loin boneless rib end pork meat, and they're already sliced into rib-sized pieces. I'm going to start this out with a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to cut up a red onion and just layer it on the bottom of this multi-cooker, the Kasori, and it's going to cook on slow all day long. I'm going to top the ribs with a pretty neat tasting barbecue rub. This is called Cajun Foreplay. It's a spicy rub and it's made by the Dinosaur Barbecue Company. I'll put a link in my description for this. So we're going to cook it all day long with the foreplay and then later in the day, closer to eating time, we're going to top this with Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar Sauce. They go good together and it's our favorite barbecue sauce. Alright, I'm going to turn on the multi-cooker to the browning mode and we're going to get that started so that we can add the onion right away and get that to start to caramelize a little bit before we put the ribs on top. I'll chop up the onion in the meantime. While everything's heating up, let me just show you the Kasori multi-cooker. This is really awesome. It's got a separate pot inside so you can lift out your pot and take it to the table when you're finished. It's a non-stick coating and it's a nice large oblong shape so it's good for a lot of bigger pieces of meat and the ribs are one big example that fits good in there. Also, we use this for many different things. It's a slow cooker. It's like a stovetop oven. It cooks low, high, medium. It cooks rice, yogurt. It's got all kinds of things that it can do. And you can see on some of our other videos, mine and Rick's, that um, that we make a lot of different things in this pot and it has a lot of great uses. I'll put a link to Rick's videos here too because you'll enjoy those if you haven't seen them. Okay, the pot's been heating up. It's not quite ready yet because when it is, it'll show us the temperature on this dial that says it's ready to go. In the meantime, I'm just going to put a slight bit of olive oil in here just to get the onions going and the ribs will be sitting on them. Also while we're waiting I'm going to take the ribs and start to put the rub on. Then we'll be all ready to go. This is a very quick meal to put together. As I mentioned it's a no fuss thing. I'm going to use a liberal amount of rub here. And make sure that we get a lot of flavor. Okay, you can see it's covered really well. Okay, the ingredients in this, just so you know, salt, garlic, paprika, onion, black pepper, roasted chilies, cayenne, cane sugar, and other exotic spices. So I think we don't need to add any other salt and pepper or anything else. The barbecue sauce will be plenty. The oil's heating up here, so we're going to add the onions. I just made onion rings out of these. So they can fall apart here. We'll push them apart as we put them in the pot. You can hear the sizzling beginning. <laughs> these are going to be so good, these ribs. All right, take a look in here. All these wonderful appliances that we have here. Rick and I were talking about our recipes for the day and we couldn't even decide which ones we wanted to put the recipes in because we love them all so much. Okay, 
while that's on the simmer mode, I'm going to start laying the ribs in here. I'll be getting the flavors from the onions on the bottom and the foreplay on the top. <laughs> See what nice red meat that is. And take advantage of the back here. Perfect. Two and a half pounds of ribs. Okay, we'll be back in six or seven hours and then we'll put on the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. In the meantime, I'll also give you the link to the Kasori multi-cooker. It's a 10 function pot that we use in a lot of our cooking here and maybe it's helpful to you too. That'll be in my description box. Okay, we'll be back. And the onions are giving off a lovely smell as they start to flavor the meat. Okay, we have about an hour left of the cooking time so let's add the sauce. You can see how nice the rub is on there. It's going to be tasty. I'm just going to take my Sweet Baby Ray's brown sugar, hickory. Hey Rick, what? how about holding this camera for me, okay? I'm just going to slather it on here a little bit. And then we're going to turn up the heat and let it melt all over the ribs. Looks good. Smells good, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get the lid back Ooh. on. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to turn this on too high for a little bit. And we're going to cook it. So the, as soon as the sauce melts, we're ready to eat. Okay? Okay, the ribs are done. Come on up and I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> Rick's getting hungry. <laughs> look. Ooh. Wow. Look how nice. And eat. All right, I'll get out the ribs here. Here, I'll stick to my uh, ribs. I'm going to bring along some of the onions from the bottom that cooked Onion. all day, making them taste so good. Oh my goodness. Look at that. See how the onions are kind of embedded. We're going to enjoy that. They're boneless. They're boneless. I can eat on a hot dog roll. Oh, yes, you can. You can make your own McRib sandwich. Oh, yeah. With real pickles. And with real rib meat instead yeah, of something. And onion. Oh, my God. Wow, what a nice plate of ribs. Should I bring out some of the onions, too? Look, mm -hmm. look how nice and brown they are. Wow. Now the other thing is, Rick made a delicious piece of meat today too, so I'm going to invite him to bring it along and we'll taste these for you. Mm. <laughs> okay, while these cool off a little bit, why don't you get your meat? Alright. Here's mine. Ooh. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, it's dripping. <laughs> it's so juicy. It's a chocolate mess. <laughs> All right, Whoa, we, got, got, we got two yeah. nice trays of meat here. Let's taste yours first. Let's taste yours first. Let's taste yours first. Fingers? Ooh, we got nice little slices. <laughs> McRibs. <laughs> They're hot. Mmm. All the flavor in your London mm. broil. This just falls apart. Mmm. Mm. Look, this is a nice London broil and what did you season that with? I had a couple bites already. But he put a nice rub on that. Rub. Of, what was that made from? Oh, you can watch my video. I made a video of this. Mm -hmm. Yep, and he made it on the rotisserie on charcoal grill. So I'll put the link there so you can see Rick's video. Oh my god, they're falling apart. Ooh. They're falling apart. 
Mm. They're really hot though. Oh. Mm -mm. No thanks. Mmm. That's better than mm -mm. mine. Yours is better. They're both good. Look how that rib is falling apart. Mmm. -mm. Meat party. We're gonna sit down and enjoy this meat. Thank you for watching this video. Check out that link, and we'll also put the links there for the, the tools we use to make it mm -hmm. with. Like, but I think you have a little work to do yet. <laughs> Gonna work off all this meat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm in shape now. <laughs>